Hi, welcome back to uh, Introduction to Engineering Design. We're working on our ruler. We've got our tick marks for our centimeters, millimeters, as well as our inches and fractional inches on our ruler. We're now going to go ahead and put some lettering on it. Very first thing, if you have not done it yet, you'll notice up here where my cursor's flashing that I've got this asterisk. That means my part's not saved. You should save that part, but since I've got a name for it, I'm going to go Control S, and that will save my part super quick. Uh, really easy thing for me to do. So Control S saves it, and my asterisk goes away, as you'll see up there, once I've done that. So really important as we work towards our certifications that you get in the habit of saving your part often and early. All right, let's take a quick look back at our ruler. Uh, and we're looking at our ruler in this view right here. So the centimeters are along the top. And we're just going to put the centimeters 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, just like that. So let's go ahead and uh, do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my view of my SOLIDWORKS here. And then what we'll do is put in the centimeter marks. OK, we have our part up. Uh, and let's go ahead and start a sketch. So uh, lettering, whether it's cut or it's extruded or it's embossed, uh, which is what we're going to use, uh, we're going to use a wrap, uh, always starts with some kind of a sketch. So let's start with a sketch on the surface that we're going to sketch it. So sketch tab, sketch button on this surface. And let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Now, when we're sketching, you're going to notice this letter icon. Sorry about that. You're going to notice this letter icon right up here. If I click on that letter icon, I can now start to place text. I can make it follow a curve, but we're not really going to have it follow a curve uh, in this instance. Uh, but you'll notice down here where it says use document font. This is kind of important. We don't really want that. We want to go ahead and use our uh, font of an aerial font, and the reason for that is uh, it's a non-justified font. It'll, it'll work out a little bit better, a little easier to space. Now, it doesn't really matter, and I'm just going to scroll up here, and I'm going to find aerial, maybe. Oh, I'm in the ampersands, so here it's coming up. <clears throat> and there it is. Went right by it. I want an aerial font, and I can either use units of height, or I can use, uh, uh, or I can use points. And I'm going to use a unit of height here, and what I'm going to make this is three millimeters tall. Same thing. I can use the same three millimeters and and uh, make that all uh, inches, pounds, seconds, or millimeters, gram, seconds. But I can always put in just the unit that I'm using with it. Uh, 0 0.039789 one inches. I'm going to make this 0.1 millimeters. Okay. Actually, I'm going to make it one millimeter. And then I'm going to go OK. Now, you'll notice when I start to type, it's pretty easy what I'm putting in here. I'm going to put in one. And if I click, that's where it appears. And if I click, and I, every time I click, it moves. And you're like, oh, this can be frustrating as all get out. It can be. But I'm going to put the 1 down. And I'm just going to space out. And I'm going to put a 2. And I'm just going to use my spacing to get it close enough. 3. I go back and space it out so it lands in about the right spot. I don't want to go too far. I don't want it too close away. Remember, this is a ruler for your project. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect. Now, the smaller I made that spacing interval, the more accurate I could make my placement of my letters. But you'll see I just drop the letter, drop the number rather, and then I space up to it. <clears throat> Looks like I'm at about six, uh, seven, eight spaces between each one. So I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, put a seven down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Put an eight down. You zoom on out so you can see that a little better. And the next one, I'm going to do nine spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Put a nine down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Put a ten down. See how that works out. Up oh, too far there. So let me take a space out. 
and you can kind of see exactly what we're doing here. Take two spaces out. There's eight spaces and 11. Uh, looks like seven spaces and a 12. But you make it work the way you want it to look. There's my 13 and my 14. I can put one more space in there, I think. Yeah. And then finally, my 15. Now, I could leave this as a sketch, honestly. I could also define it by a line if I want to. And maybe we'll do that. But for right now, uh, let's go ahead and accept that sketch. Now I got some some uh, font and you'll notice to see how that little uh, tick mark uh, right here is moving along. If I drag this and I grab this and I edit it, I can move this around into different spots and my lettering moves with it. See that? So a quick easy way to reposition it. This is the one time that I don't get too uh, crazy about whether it's positioned perfect and everything's fully defined. Sketches can be incredibly hard to define, but I'm going to make this 0.32 over, and I'm going to make it down from the top here, down from the top edge. Point 0.3. That looks pretty nice to me. Now you'll see it's still underdefined. Uh, on on uh, your uh, sketches may still be underdefined, but I did give a definition of where it starts, so that helps. So now let me go ahead and exit that sketch, and we'll pause here. That's how you put your centimeter marks in.